Hello everybody, I'm Ingrid Jimenez and today we're going to talk about how I interpreted one of Maholi Neige's painting. As you can see, uh, we will talk a little bit about him and then I will move forward into talking about the different ways I interpreted uh, one of his paintings, which would be the Composition 18. So Maholi Neige was a Hungarian who was raised by his mother and his uncle. Uh, when he was in high school, he wanted to become a writer, so he, um, he wrote some poetry and some of his poetry got published in the newspapers. After he graduated high school, he went on to study law, but didn't finish because in 1914 he enlisted in the army. Uh, before he even enlisted in the army, he did begin drawing a little bit, but it's not until he went into the army and he had time is when he started drawing a lot more. It wasn't until 1918 where he started his career as an artist. It is said that he eliminated his personal touches from his paintings. Instead, he chose to play around with the light and the transparency. So this is the full painting, and we were each given a quadrant we would analyze. My quadrant was quadrant A. The goal of this assignment was to see if we had a better understanding of the, art, the artist's methods, um, the way he used his layers, um, his overall organization structure of the painting and we were to analyze the painting our quadrant and use gouache paint to try to match the same colors as the painting the first photo on your top left would be my first try the one on the bottom left would be my second try and the photo on the right would be my final painting. On the next slide you will see the process it took me to get to my final painting.
The purpose of part three was to reconstruct our painting on PowerPoint. The way we did that was to use shapes and fill in the colors that would match the painting and also use transparency.